morning, good morning. Good morning, all. We want to welcome you to City Council Chambers, and we'd like to proceed with convening the Committee on the Environment and Sustainability. Good morning. We will now convene the Committee on the Environment and Sustainability. My name is Blondell Reynolds Brown, and I'd like to acknowledge that we have Council Members O, Council, Councilman Bobby Heenan, sponsor of the bill we're about to undertake, Council Members Denny O'Brien, and Council Member Eddie Nielsen. I'd like to ask the clerk to please read the title of the bill. Bill number 150500, an ordinance amending section 3-207 of the Philadelphia Code, entitled Sale of Fuel Oil, by modifying certain requirements of commercial fuel oil content, all under certain terms and conditions. Thank you. To kick off our public hearing, we would like to invite up members of the administration, Air Management, Mr. Thomas Wynn, and any other members of the administration that would like to provide testimony. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Please Good morning. state your full name for the record, pull the mic close to you, and proceed with your testimony. Good morning, Chairman Grumman, uh, Randall Brown, Council, Councilman Hannon, and member of the Committee on Environment. If I, I could Thomas trouble you, Wayne. if I could trouble you to please pull the mic closer and tilt it down so that we can hear you. Terrific. I am Thomas Wing. Philadelphia Department of Public Health and Management Services. Thank you for the opportunity today to present a testimony on Bill 150500. Would grant, the bill would grandfather contain high sulfur number two fuel oil purchased prior to the effective date of last year legislation modernized our field of number two fuel oil. The Health Department Air Management Services, also known as AMS, a local air pollution control agency for the city of Philadelphia, AMS mission is to protect the health and quality of life of the Philadelphian from the effect of air pollution. AMS have collaborated with the City Council last year to work on lower the sulfur in the fuel oil that sold, store, and burn in Philadelphia. The old standard we did back in 1978 uh, increased found the presence of sulfur in the air related from the burning of fuel oil. It linked to numerous environmental problems such as acid gas, as it rains, smog, and disease, asthma, and heart attack. At this note, the city of Philadelphia is not in attainment with national air quality standard for ozone and particulate matter, less than 2.5 micron. Tighten the sulfur fuel oil standard will assist the city in this standard, and above all, protect the public health. In June 2014, the City Council passed a new commercial fuel oil standard, and they became law in July 2014. However, in recognition of use and the sale of commercial fuel oil, the new standard was set to take effect a year later, in July 1, 2015. AMS and the Health Department notified residents and business affected by the new standards. In addition to participate in various City Council hearings, we also reached out in our business community in writing and put on our website. And let them know about the fuel oil change. AMS also prepared to exercise discretion in engaged business and resident at this time after July 2015 addition time to enforcement the use of the fuel oil that were purchased and delivered before the new standard would become law. Bill 150500 had the same basic purpose. Our working is our vehicle for accommodate those concerns. The Health Department AMS will 
work with, are working with sponsor, the chair, and stakeholder to craft amendment to help ensure the city policy is commercial reasonable, but play air quality and public health above all else. We support the sponsor proposal to more to move the bill out of the committee today and about the amendment on the first reading. At the moment, we propose working the same version of the following amendment. First, fuel oil meeting the old 1970 standard could be used if it were in the tank of the final end user on or before April 1st, 2015. The grandfather fuel could only be used at site or facility when it is stored. The grandfather exemption would not apply to any merchant, distribution, or distributor reselling of such grandfather fuel in the city would be prohibited. Second, the end usage of this grandfather fuel oil must retain record and the record should be available for inspection by AMS and include the sulfur content of grandfather fuel oil. Finally, any grandfather fuel oil must be used, brought into compliance by July 1st, 2020. The Health Department of the City Council to support this chain for Bill 15500. With this chain, the bill will strike the right balance of protecting public health from sulfur pollution while minimize the hardship of Philadelphia business and residents who rely on fuel oil for heat and power. Thank you for allowing me to present the testimony, and we're happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you, Mr. Wynn. Might you want to offer testimony, please? No, my name is Patrick O'Neill. I'm the Divisional Deputy for Environmental Law for the City and Council to Air Management. I'm just here to help answer your questions, that any that you might have. Very well. Would any members of the committee have questions or comments for our witnesses? No? Well, let me uh, seize the moment to thank you again for the work uh, your departments and team members did with my staff uh, close to a year ago uh, in helping us um, move into a modern day and time when it comes to this particular issue. And uh, let me know, let me say that I appreciate your willingness to work with the sponsor of the bill as we seek to uh, maximize the common ground and the um, initiative we're trying to move on and act on today. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. Is there anyone else that would like to offer testimony on bill number 150500? With that said then, we will now close our public hearing and move into a public meeting and we invite the sponsor of the bill, Councilman Bobby Heenan, to please offer comments. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair, and I also want to thank you and commend you for your efforts uh, to recognize, you know, how progressive the city is and, and should be in, in the future uh, when it comes to the environment and the cities and the public health at, at large. So I want to thank you for that uh, publicly. Uh, this bill, uh, we will be, uh, I want to note for the record, we will be voting it out of committee uh, as is uh, with the intention, not with the intention, it will be amended. You know, so I want to thank all the uh, stakeholders, the parties and file from the mayor's office, the air management, and, and the stakeholders and users and holders of, uh, of, of, of fuel in the city of Philadelphia, which employs a whole lot of people in the, in, in the city. So I want to uh, thank them for their uh, constant uh, advice and guidance and uh, reality of uh, how we uh, make the environment and the public health a lot safer at the same time. Uh, with, with reason. So uh, the bill will be coming out of committee as is. Uh, it will be amended next week uh, if we can continue the, the discussions as we move forward. Yes. And I want to thank everybody that, that got us to this point and continue to work towards a, uh, a good compromise for everybody. Thank you very, very, very much, uh, Councilman Heenan. Uh, putting on my former teacher hat for 15 seconds, we want to underscore, put in capital letters, with exclamation points that all parties involved will actively, aggressively find some common town, common time 
over the next four or five days so that we can indeed reach language that uh, everyone can be okay with to keep all parties involved hold. With that, I will ask the sponsor of the bill, Councilman Bobby Heenan, to please uh, make a motion on bill number 150500. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I make a motion that 150500 be voted out of committee with a favorable recommendation and with the suspension of the rules as to be read at our next council session. Second. Thank you. Bill number 150500 has been moved and seconded. <clears throat> All of those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. All opposed? There being none, bill number 150500 has been properly moved and seconded and will be reported out of this committee with a favorable recommendation and further moved that the rules of council would be suspended so as to permit first reading of this bill at our next scheduled session of Philadelphia City Council. All in favor of the motion will signify by saying aye. aye. All opposed? There being none, this concludes the public meeting, and we want to thank you all for your attendance, your participation. Thank you very, very much. Have a good afternoon and a better weekend. Thank you.